Will the circle be unbroken by and by, oh, by and by? There's a better way of waiting. If we try or live, we try. And as we work to just to build this movement, there's a sound you can't control. It's a cry for Earth's justice. I wanted to say a word about the word apocalypse because it is a word that has great meaning in religious scholarship. And as theologians point out in the original Greek meaning, it is a, an uncovering or a revealing. And so I think we can see it in that spirit as we are here to uncover and uh, reveal and illuminate our circumstances and come together to act on them. So what are the teachings of resilience? What already works? What has helped you through hard times before? How can we heal? How do you look at disasters? How your community see it? The solution to me involves us reducing our dependence on fossil fuels, stopping uh, the use of plastic, or reducing our use of plastic. But a lot of it is really leaning into social resiliency. If we work together, if we're asking the same questions, if we're demanding action, we can actually make this an opportunity and a benefit to our community. So the funny thing about climate and climate change issues is that climate affects everybody. It's a crisis of meaning. It's a crisis of identity. It's a crisis of ethics and morals. It's not only about taking. Like, like we have this kind of consumption mentality that we could just take and take. And we can not only take, but we have to give something back. Right? We have to give something back, uh, whether it's an offering, a song. There's something there uh, to remind us of that, of that relationship. The climate crisis is a racial, social, and economic justice issue. And the paradigm that exploits and extracts and commodifies the earth is the same religious paradigm that exploits, extracts, and commodifies human beings. Every person impacted by disaster or conflict has a right to the basic assistance and protection necessary for a life with dignity. With our spiritual care, we really refrain from labeling and just listen to their lived experience. And then how do we navigate from that story to the next day, to the next week, to the next month? We need to care about everyone. We need to care about people overseas who are suffering, but we also need to care about our own friends and neighbors right here in our own cities. We work with groups of folks and spaces being created for, for trauma to arise and for us to work through them uh, together. And that's happening alongside the um, infusion of love and encouragement to continue developing and cultivating their own healing skills and approaches. It is our responsibility. This is our city. It's our people. If we get to true net zero, the temperatures on the earth will stop going up in as little as three years. Sadness and grief, if we turn those over, if we have ways of adding other ingredients and bringing different feelings in, again, they become love and care.